Hey everyone, welcome back. So, uh, in previous video, we have started understanding the concepts of partition key, uh, various concepts which will help us to choose the right partition key, right? We talked about hot partitioning, we talked about single and cross partition queries. There is one more concept left, afterwards we can start digging on partition key, right? And this concept is called composite key. So to understand the composite key, we need to first understand the restrictions in Cosmos DB. Yes, you heard it right, restrictions. With respect to the key, don't worry with respect to the key because we got two kinds of restriction in Cosmos DB because if you're choosing a wrong key and your document is exceeding more than two megabytes, it's not acceptable. It's the restriction. Your each document cannot exceed the two megabyte of data. And again, if you're choosing a wrong partition key, then your logical partition will expand more than 20 gigs, which is not acceptable. It's restricted. If you take the same example that we talked about in previous video, if you choose a particular city where all your users, like most of the users residing in, then that means all other logical partitions are like one or two gigs. But this logical partition is more than 20 gigs not acceptable, there is a restriction. So each document, not more than two megabytes, each logical partition shouldn't exceed the 20 gigs of data. So you need to keep this in mind so that you could choose wisely. What are we choosing here? Partition key. Now, if you apply uh, this example that uh, we were talking about uh, from social media application, we need to first design the app in such a way that documents size shouldn't cross the restriction limit. For logical partition restriction, we need to make sure each user's data shouldn't exceed 20 gigs. Now, even if we need to do some kind of trick with the user data, for example, let's suppose you are choosing user ID, it seems, very unique, of course it is unique in any social media application, right? Or any application where the login is required. You should have the unique uh, username. You would not be able to choose any other thing. But even if you are choosing a unique uh, ID that is username as a partition key so that it would divide the part uh, logical partition evenly or equally, but it may possible one of the user is highly active on your social media, he's keep on uploading things. He's like so active that his logical partition is uh, getting more than 20 gigs and it's restriction, it will, it will hamper the application, it will hamper the performance, it will hamper, hamper uh, the things that we do not want it to be. So what are we gonna do in such a case? We're gonna take the, uh, we're gonna make our key as a composite key. What are we gonna do with that? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna add something with the key so that it will again partition the data even if it belongs to the same user. For example, instead of the username that we was talking about as a partition key, we can choose customer name or the username dash month dash date dash year. So your key is uh, bigger, but it will create a hell lot of more partition and for sure uh, it should not go beyond 20 gigs. It, because if you remember the, the structure, container logical partition and these logical partition connected to the physical machine it's fine you may have billions of logical partition or like thousands of logical partition you can connect multiple logical partition to the one physical machine here it's fine if you have like 200 mb of logical partition but it is not fine if you have 21 gigs of logical partition so you can have n number of logical partition 
that is fine. So we can have the composite key as per the requirement of our application. So it is, uh, as I said, it is fine to fine to have many more small logical partition so that our data is spread across the cluster into small logical partitions. This gives us unlimited scale for sure. Uh, it will not hamper the performance like you are not hitting the restriction. So once again, the purpose of composite key is uh, we further trying to divide our data into different logical units. Further want to shorten size of logical units or logical partition. And this all, why we are doing? Because of the restrictions of the Cosmos DB. So this is what the composite key, these are the restrictions that we should be aware of when we, uh, we decide a partition key for our application, for our Cosmos DB. So with this, we are through with all the four concepts that we should be aware of. Uh, we will get into the discussion of the partition key and in the next video we'll start choosing a partition key all the key points uh, that make our partition key the best so till then take care and bye, -bye.